Hey everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play of Persona 5 Strikers. When we last left off, we kick, kicked, <laughs> kicked Natsume's butt, uh, his final form and everything, so RPG, it was so cool. Um, I really like the design of it and I like how it was reminiscent of, you know, every RPG boss has that final form that they just can't wait to bring out. Um, and it wasn't that bad of a fight. And yeah, we beat the castle. Um, we kind of found out that find oh my god found out that he sort of won his first author competition because it was rigged because the people in charge were like ah he's the grandson of the dude we'll make money off of him um, and I guess he just kind of took hold of that and let the fame get to his head um, instead of doing what was right and admitting that he found out the competition was fixed um, which he did after we changed his heart and the jail didn't disappear. So further confirmation that it's different from a palace, and I'm sure we'll have more side quests there to do later. So yeah, we have to go meet at the hideout. Um, I was going to walk back and get by the van so we could start there, and then Morgana started talking to me, and I was like, oh crap, we got to start the recording. Uh, uh, so yeah, so we'll just pick up and we'll just, you know, see where the story takes us today. Uh, thanks for your support of the series. I hope you're still enjoying it. I hope you're doing well, and let's just uh, jump back in. Uh, there's only more we can do now. We should wait at the hideout until Zenkichi reaches out. Yeah, where do you think I was going, Morgana? Till you interrupted me. You and your weird spastic animations that you're always doing in the uh, cutscenes we have. Uh, after some time, Zenkichi came to the hideout. And that about sums up Natsume's confession. So once people friended him through Emma, they'd become his fans. It's just like what Alice said. And Natsume's smartphone worked the same as Alice's, too. There wasn't anything off about the Emma app or the phone itself. So we got nothing again? I didn't say that. Just like before, there were traces of someone snooping around in there. For real? Uh, it's the same as Alice. Did not tell me I have a stalker too? What does it all mean? It is the same as Alice, yes. You're talking about how Alice's smartphone was being monitored by someone, right? So the same occurred with Natsume's phone as well. Well, any idea who it is? Sorry, I got nothing. All I found were traces. Medice! Is that what the company was called? I almost said Medjed, but that's Futaba. <laughs> sorry, sorry Futaba. So Alice and Natsume were being watched by someone. Hey, Zenkichi, did the police know about that? No. The only reason we know this guy exists is because Sakura sifted through Alice's smartphone. So aside from the fact that they both used Emma, this mystery observer is the only thing linking Alice and Natsume together. If the police didn't know that, why would they assume these two cases are related? Well, these are some very peculiar cases. But mainly, it boils down to the nature of the crimes and the timing. The timing? All of the change of heart incidents occurred at roughly the same time, that being within the last three months. Didn't I tell you? Three months ago is around when Emma was released. Yeah, I was just about to say, I bet you that's when Emma was released. Well, Emma is being used to perpetrate the crimes, so that makes sense. Yeah, so why don't we look at the company? Could someone be exploiting it? The group behind it seems shady. Yeah, that's what I would think. Damn right it does. That company putting that thing out is suspicious as all hell. What are they called again? Madams? <laughs> same, same, Ryuji. Medice? Medice. Oh. Well, at least you got the mad part. Medice. Sorry, I was just reading it wrong. For what it's worth, I'm investigating on that front as well. Good. Still, we're talking about a major corporation operating on a global scale. You can't just walk in and start poking around without reason. You haven't found anything suspicious yet? Not yet, no. At least, nothing's come up from checking the individuals involved. If our mystery observer was connected to Medice, though, then we'd have grounds to conduct an investigation. Hmm. Do you think there's someone pulling the strings in this case? We don't know for sure yet. The incidents are similar, but they could just as easily be unrelated. <sighs> Guess we'll have to see if the other incidents have any overlap as well. That's one of the basic rules of investigation. Find what the incidents do and don't have in common, then start narrowing things down. For now, looking into the other incidents is our best bet at scoring lead. This is true. We'll have to do what we can for the time being. And if we look into the other jails and their monarchs, we might learn something new. Then, if we're all done here, I'm heading to Sapporo to see what I can find at our next target. We're rendezvous on the 8th. I'll contact you the day of. Okay, so we're probably going straight there. 
I, how many days did this one take? It was like four or so, right? So I don't think we'd have time for another jail. Three days. Should be an easy trip with a car. No need to rush. The target's not even in Japan until then. Oh, right. Wasn't there a festival happening around here soon? Sendai's famous for its Tanabata festivals. Lots of good food lined up, too. Or so I hear. Yes, I did see decorations being put up here and there. Anyway, I'll see you in three days. Don't forget. Party, let's go. I guess he wants us to rest up while we can. Gramps is actually a pretty considerate guy, huh? Well, since we're here, should we put on Yukata and go to the festival? <laughs> Yukata. Uh, I can't help but think of our disastrous fireworks festival last year when we got rained on. Ooh. That's why we're gonna do it right this time. Besides, we didn't have Futaba or Haru with us back then. Oh, that's right. God, that feels like forever ago. Count me in. Going to a festival in Yukata sounds wonderful. Uh, let's do it. I can't wait. Oh, I went too. Yes. No, let's do it. Then we got a plan. Sophia, find us a shop that sells Yukata. I've got four hits. Allow me to direct you. Let's go anime cutscene. I don't know if they'll make it. There ha Has there been any anime cutscenes? There's been the rendered in-engine cutscenes, but I don't know if they've been for anything less than the Dude, battles. Got all the boots. Oh my god, look at that hat. I don't know if there's a proper name for him, so I apologize, but the little- it looks like a chicken. What is he wearing? As one might expect from Sendai's Tanabata Festival. It's quite lively here. Apparently, the locals call it Tanabata-san, and it's said to have originated from back in Date Masamune's time. Hey, that's the dude from the statue, huh? He's not a dude. <laughs> He's Lord Date Masamune, the one-eyed dragon of ocean. He is not a dude. Jeez, what are you, entertainer or something? There are so many booths. It's hard to pick what to see first. What do you think? Yakisoba! Oh my god, Yakisoba Pan? Come on, 13 Sentinels. Let's try a shooting gallery. I want to check out the mask. Yakisoba! I'm cool with that. I don't know why, but Yakisoba food stand always tastes so friggin' good. Uh, let's hold off on the food for now. Ah. Check out all the boots with Lady On first. Speaking of which, ain't those guys here yet? It takes time for a lady to get ready. <laughs> They're not unrefined apes like the rest of you. Oh my god. Who are you calling an ape? You're the unrefined one, you furball. Look, this furball's got claws, you bonehead! Sorry for the wait. Oh my god, look at them! Uh, I love Futaba's. It's like her signature color. That's so cute. I think they're all pretty much their signature. Sig oh my god, signature colors actually. <gasps> Lady on, you are absolutely gorgeous. That was kind of creepy, Morgana. <laughs> Thanks, Morgana. Sorry, tying the obi took quite some time. Uh, it's fitting for the summer. It's worth the wait. Can I get a closer look? Okay, that's a little creepy. It's fitting for the summer, yeah. Made to be worn during the summer, and it matches the festival atmosphere perfectly. Absolutely picturesque. You've brought us a much needed air of refinement. Yeah, according to someone, we're about as unrefined as it gets. Wow, Ryuji, that looks really good on you. Even better than your school uniform. You don't gotta try and make me feel better. <laughs> the voices are so quiet sometimes. Like, he's so good at delivering, but I feel like the audio for them is just drowned out by the music. I wish I could turn them up. It like frustrates me. You made a good choice with that mask, though. Yellow is a good match for this season. That is, that's, that looks orange. I bought a water balloon myself. You gotta get one when you go to a festival. Water balloon? Oh, you mean a yo-yo? No, isn't that called a water yo-yo? Uh, wait a sec. I thought it was yo-yo balloon. No, it's a water balloon. Hmm. What do you call it? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, uh, uh, yo, wa I like water yo-yo. So, which is it? <laughs> Looks like everyone's having a good time. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, arguing over proper words. What a time. <laughs> we should have a little fun ourselves. Why don't we check out the food stands and get something to eat? Uh, sure. I was starting to get hungry since everything smells so good. Yakisoba pan! Look, they've got all the staples. Yakisoba, yakitori, shaved ice. He's even got cognac skewers. Those are huge in Toho food. What are we waiting for? Charge! 
Ah. We should get going too. I'm starving. Hell yeah! Let's start from one end and get one of everything. Feels as if we're forgetting the spirit of Tanabata. Though I have no objections. I was like, Yusuke, you never turn down food. I want to see more of the festival too. Show me how to catch both fish. Uh, I was a fishing champ back in my day of Persona 4 when I caught that golden fish. Uh, I had fun with everyone at the festival. Of course. We got the best squad. Oh, so close. Bam, bam, bam. Bop, bop. That was so good. Cognac skewers, Ishinomaki yakisoba, Lunda cider. We basically ate our way through Sendai. <laughs> It was amazing. Gotta hand it to old man Masmune. He is one cool dude. That's lord to you. Did I do it right, Yusuke? Am I that predictable? Catching goldfish seems difficult. Is there some sort of secret to catching one? Try to stay calm, then strike without hesitation. The trick is to catch them once you've read their movements. Damn, Makoto, calm down. Wow, that's impressive, Mako-chan. I see. We'll get it next time. You're getting a call from Zenkichi. Sup. Yo, you guys having fun? Ooh. Uh, no worries here, we are. How about you? Just working. Moderately, anyway. Listen, I wanted to ask you guys a favor. I'm already investigating in Sapporo, but before you leave Sendai, I'd like you to stop by Toho University. Tomorrow, there's gonna be a session at the Mount Alba campus. Uh, session? So they're gonna jam? The CEO of Medis is holding a lecture there. Oh! I'm still looking into them at the moment, but the more info we have, the better. I'd like you to attend the lecture in my place. Uh, alright, what's in it for us? Nope, cool, I'm down. I'm glad you get it. And just so we're clear, don't draw any unnecessary attention to yourselves. Just go and see if the CEO says anything strange. We're not good at not drawing attention to ourselves, so I feel like this is like so many times in Persona 5 and this game already. Clearly, we're not good at not getting on camera. Uh, what else can you tell us? Do you have a name? His name is Akira Konoe. He looks like a capable CEO. I'll give him that. Yo, we have the same name. Anyway, I'm gonna be counting on you kids. And again, try not to get carried away, alright? Nope. Ooh, what did he want? I told everyone about Zenkichi's call and how we're absolutely gonna act a fool. Let me get this straight. This guy's running the company that made Emma? This might be a good opportunity to learn something new. Hmm. I suppose we'll find out at the lecture tomorrow morning. Guess break time's over. Time to get back to work. Oh, by the way, I'm expecting a phone call about that job interview I had, so if all of a sudden you hear very loud Final Fantasy X music. I apologize. I'll try and cut it out as best I can, but I'm at the ready. Oh, University of Toho Lecture Hall. As you all know, life is an ongoing series of daily decisions. I'm sorry, I was not expecting him to look like Tony Stark. <laughs> That's it. He looks so much like Tony Stark. What's for breakfast? What should I wear today? Every day begins with these insignificant little dilemmas. But then there comes a time to decide your field of study, your place of employment, who you're going to marry. And it's these choices that matter. Yes, people are always looking for the best choice or the correct answer. Are you telling me to Google who should I marry? Madis seeks to provide it for everyone through the power of AI. Emma is a state-of-the-art AI designed to integrate itself into our everyday lives. By gathering and analyzing extraordinary amounts of data with perfect precision, Emma can help everyone make the best choices. Creepy. Capable CEO seems pretty spot on. Wow, he's so composed. He's practically overflowing with confidence. Look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles. He's got everyone's attention. You're right. He's not saying anything particularly suspicious, though. I mean, extraordinary amounts of data makes me feel a little uncomfortable because it's like, how much are they spying on your everyday life to get information to make decisions about who you should marry? I don't know if he was being like hyperbolic or whatnot, but like, uh, that's a little creepy. I don't know. 
Well, thanks to Emma, Adisa's stocks have shot way up. You can bet they're one of Japan's biggest enterprises right now. That said, I feel like a company with this much going for it wouldn't have much to gain from changing people's hearts. Perhaps, but that doesn't change the fact that Emma is still a key factor in the jails. It is through Emma that people are allowed access. Right. Medis is connected to all of this one way or another, be it directly or indirectly. Hey, do you think there's a real culprit behind all of this? Like, some kind of mastermind? I do, I'm not sure, what do you think? Um, I mean, the other possibility is that somehow the AI is so advanced that it is, it, like we see in the movies, trying to take over humanity in a way by having people become sort of, I don't know, brainless, like, slaves to certain people? I don't know. Um, which, I don't know if, like, Persona would go that route, like having the AI be trying to take over. Um, or if it's an actual person. It's hard to say, honestly. I don't know. That That's a possibility, but I would... I don't know if I'd like that route. I like how we stick to it sort of being the human part of the story. You know, changing hearts, having human desires be the root of things. So having an AI be the root of things might be a little weird, but... Uh, I'm not sure. Let me see. What do you think? I think there is. Even if we beat the monarchs, change their hearts, and free everyone's desires, the jails don't disappear. There's got to be something keeping them here. So you're saying the real culprit's the one doing that? I don't know. But do you remember how even the monarchs themselves didn't know much about Emma? That's right. Alice and Natsume said the same things in their testimonies. And if that's the case, then the monarchs might not be the only ones manipulating Emma. Which means it could be someone at Medis. Or our mystery observer. Or our head honcho down there. Or perhaps someone completely different. Nice. Sounds like we got a clear path. Yeah, well, we just gotta stick to what Gramps was telling us, right? All we can do is keep solving cases and collect more info. As long as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts do what they do best, we'll set this shit straight. Wow, Ryuji. That was pretty insightful. I'm <laughs> surprised. He's right. And in that sense, attending this lecture is a valuable use of our time. Let's make sure we pay attention all the way to the end. Good thing he hasn't been talking this entire time. He's just been standing there. Huh. <laughs> Yo, how long was I out? So, what did the dude say? Oh, can I smack you? Well, he didn't exactly say anything out of the ordinary. And again... I wouldn't expect him to trip up that easily. Well, I'm starving, so maybe we should just head back? That guy was talking for friggin' ever. Hey guys, that stuff you said earlier, was all of that true? Huh? Are Yo. you really the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? Okay, so, not to be that person, but like, usually in a story, when they introduce random people who aren't just NPCs, you tend to blame them. It's like if you're watching a crime show and they're like, you meet someone, you meet certain people throughout the episode and you're like, okay, one of them is the killer. I'm like, is she behind it all? Like she seemed so unimportant yet somehow she has a sprite. She talks to us. She's like involved. She seems harmless. So now I'm like, is it too obvious to think it's her? Like, you know what I mean? It's kind of like when you watch the crime shows and you're like, is it too obvious to think it's the brother? Because we met him first out of all the people they interviewed. I don't know. Now I'm worried. Why is she eavesdropping on us? What? You're the woman from the Beef Tongue restaurant. Oh, Ichinose-san, right? You heard all that? Well, the thing is, I'm really good at picking up when a cat meows. Honestly, I found that way more interesting than Kanoe's lecture. Oh, nah. Me? But you guys are the ones she overheard. The hell are we gonna do? Uh, deny it? Whoa, stop, stop. It's alright. This place will be closing up soon. Let's talk more outside. No! We're just gonna tell her? That does not seem like a good idea in any way, shape, or form. See, now they're just... Wow. Mm. To think you guys are the famous phantom thieves. This makes me even more nervous because now they're just being too open with her. 
You've got the wrong guys. We were just pretending. I think he misheard us. Come on now. Don't try to hide it. When you guys mentioned Alice and Natsume, I imagine you were referring to Alice Hiragi and Ango Natsume from the press conferences, yes? Is it safe to assume those were your doing? Oh, and what was that about Emma giving people access to jails? Oh, is that related to everyone's hearts getting changed? Okay, so like, A, she either has superhuman hearing, or B, she was listening to us through Emma. Is she a person who's observing? I mean, one of, we have Emma on our phones, right? Or at least one of us does. She could have been listening through it. She, she heard everything. Um, can we ask what you're doing here, Ichinose-san? Oh, I told you at the Beef Tongue place, didn't I? I'm a researcher at the university. Oh, that's right. I'm also the one who designed the base for Emma. You made the base? I didn't tell you. I specialize in the research and development of artificial intelligence. Okay, now I don't, I don't trust her at all. Look at those bangs. Look at that weird earring. Is it an earring? Uh, he definitely didn't hear about that. Around the time I finished developing Emma, Medis came to me with an offer to buy it. I was actually pretty tight on money at the time, so I went ahead and sold it. Is this lady for real? Oh, by the way, that's why Medis is participating in the lecture today. Well, to be more accurate, the university asked me to reach out to them. I certainly didn't expect the CEO himself to show up, though. I only got invited because of my little connection with the company. Anyhow, yeah, that's how I ended up being there to overhear everything. So you're Emma's creator, and Medis is simply the ones running it? Oh, well, they're definitely the ones running it, but I can't say for sure if that's all they've been doing. They just designed the base. Who knows what Medis did once I sold it to them? So, you know all about Emma then, right? Naturally. It's like my baby, you know. And at the risk of tooting my own horn, it's a really good baby. Hmm. Oh, never would have expected this turn of events. Do you think she's telling the truth about designing Emma? I do think it's impressive that the CEO of Medis came to personally give a lecture. If she's the one who made it happen, doesn't that mean she has a lot of influence? This is true. And let's not forget the university asked her to attend the lecture. What should we do? She could probably tell us a lot about Emma. Not to mention she knows who we are now. What do you think? Let's tell her the truth. Let's ask her for help. Let's play dumb and run for it. You know, I'm not trying to be overly suspicious of everyone, but I really don't want her to tell her, like, um, I'm just going to say that. I don't think it's a good idea. No way. It's a little late for that, don't you think? Yeah, it'd be a real drag if we ditched her now and she started telling the whole world about us. Then we may as well go all in and find out what we can. Nothing venture, nothing gained. Yeah, because we have a great history of letting people into the Phantom Thieves and then having them not betray us in the end. Uh-huh, sure. It's settled then. We'll tell her everything. Oh, no! No! This is a horrible idea. Is all of that true? Right. We know. It's kind of hard to believe, huh? Hey, what if we just show her? Like we did with Senkichi. No. Wow, it really does exist! I mean, how else could you explain all this? So Emma functions as the entry point here, huh? No, that's... if I consider the possibilities... Uh, she believed all that? Oh, you have no idea how fascinating this is! What an incredible development! <laughs> uh, well, at least we don't gotta go through the trouble of convincing her. Ichinose-san? Do you have any idea why Emma is serving as an entry point to the jails? Oh, no, couldn't tell you. I'm surprised this other world even exists. There's no way I could have thought of a way to get in if I didn't even know it existed to begin with. Yeah, that figures. Wait, so that means that function was added later? A world where people's desires are stolen and their hearts are changed. Hmm, so many questions. Oh, wait. Maybe I should be heartbroken here. My baby is being used for evil after all. 
Let's help each other. We like your cooperation. Think you can help. Uh. Right. How about we make a deal? Ooh, I like the sound of that. Super Phantom Thiefy. I'd be glad to help however I can. And I can't say I don't feel kind of responsible for all of this. More than anything, though, I think I'd die of curiosity if I didn't get involved. So, what do you need me to look into? Say the word, and I'm on it. Uh, tell us about Emma. Tell us about Medis. What happened after you sold it? Um. Uh, la la la, Emma. Right. Well, for starters, we'd like you to find whatever you can about Emma's current state. Maybe try and figure out how it's different from the base you created. I see. Basically, you'd like to know the secret behind this new version of Emma. And if someone's responsible, you want to know who. Oh, hey! We found some of those mystery junk parts out there, didn't we? Maybe if she takes a look at them, we'll learn more about that world. Ooh, so you're gonna give me a bunch of neat stuff to analyze? Yes, that's excellent. Just wonderful. In fact, I'll even buy them from you as research materials. Hmm. Well, if this is going to be a deal, then we'll need to provide something as well. Hmm. Nonsense. It's fine just the way it is. My inner researcher is just squealing with delight. So, what do you say we seal the deal? It's a deal then. Here's to working together. We'll be counting on you. Here's to working together. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. And not getting betrayed. Junk parts become easier to obtain. Oh. Yo, if she specializes in AI, maybe we should ask about Sophia, yeah? No. Huh? Sophia? No, keep her secret. Come on. Hi, I'm Sophia, humanity's companion. It's nice to meet you, Ichinose. This is Sophia? Huh. It's nice to meet you, too. Who flipped the switch on her? No, it's just that I've got so much on my mind right now. I guess even I'm a little confused. Sophia's an AI we met in the metaverse. Is there anything you can tell us about her? Nope, can't say I know anything about her. Think you could send me her code later, though? Huh? Oh, sure. No problem. No! Red flags! Red flags! <laughs> Here, I'll give you my contact information. I'm gonna lose my damn mind. How this all develops. See you around. Uh, well, there she goes. Would have been nice if she'd known something about Sophia. Is no one alarmed? No one thinks this is super suspicious? Is it just me? I'm okay, as long as I can stay useful to you guys. Maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. Guess that takes care of that. Oh yeah, I totally forgot after all that's just happened, but we're heading to Sapporo next, right? Yeah, we should get going. Zenkichi's waiting for us in Hokkaido. Hell yeah! Hokkaido, here we come! Hey, hey! Uh, next stop, Hokkaido. Time to say goodbye, Sendai. Anything you didn't tick off your list yet while we're still here? This is your last chance. We'll hit- well, well, well let's hit the RV once you're good and ready. Uh, going to new cities. Once you choose to go to the next city, you will be unable to return to the city you are currently in. Okay. Make sure to buy limited items and take care of business that can be done- Oh my god. Only be done in that city. Unlike the cities in the real world, you can revisit past jails at any time. However, be aware that requests obtained from conversing with your friends in past cities will no longer be available to accept or complete. Okay, so we have to do On's request. Hi. Hey, yo! Can I borrow you? There's something I want to do before we go. I shall wait you at the entrance to the Mount Aoba Park Shrine. Okay, hold on. Um, oop. I need to uh, buy sweets. Zunda Shake, Zunda Daifuku, and Gyutan ice cream. Okay, let's go buy. Let me check. Oh, Zunda. Okay. Uh, Shake. Daifuku. Thank you very much. Stop by again. 
Uh, okay, let's see. Castle shop. There sure are a lot of stores. Try not to get lost, all right? Thank you for coming in. Dumplings. Oh my god, that's so expensive. Okay. Damn. All right, hold on. Uh, okay, la la la. Vending machine? Uh, HP, 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 no. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to go to the other area to get the... Qton. I think it's over... on the station. But let me check these restaurants real quick just to make sure. I don't remember off the top of my head. The sweet shop. Like Yomo Gino Tsuki. Uh, that all you need? I'll buy Here these because are. it's HP that to all. Oh, well, that's one ally. That all you need? Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. I yeah, I just, you know, maybe it's me being suspicious for no reason, but like I don't know, man. Here you are. Take that's what you like. Oh, that's one alley. Never mind. Sorry. I just like And her reaction to Sophie was also not good. You know what I mean? Uh, like, I feel like she's just gonna either take over her to further spy on us or hurt us, or she's gonna try and incorporate an AI like Sophie into her code. Which, if she's the one behind everything, that's also not good. You know what I mean? Take a look. Increase this showtime now. We're good. Uh, we're looking for Guton, and I might buy some more ingredients while we're here. Oh, here we go. Uh, it wasn't a bento, was it? Hold on. I'll just add this. Nope. <laughs> Me pressing the wrong button is the name of the game. Uh, let's see. Ice cream. Okay. Could I make it? I don't remember. I don't think so. Uh, let me go look at some the other restaurants. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Man, let me know what you guys think. I just feel like she's. She, I don't trust her. You know? I'm just a little worried. Uh. Woo. Okay. Must be over here. I know there's an ice cream shop somewhere. I don't remember exactly where. It's just like giving me a catchy vibes. Chocolate banana is not it. Okay. Uh, let's see. General Greetings. store. I no. That shop owner sounded like Yusuke. Sweet shop. Well, there we go. So much. Let me go buy, see if I can buy some more ingredients from the. I think the store is all the way in the back for whatever reason. Uh, SP. Yes. Oops. Gotta get those SP items while I can. Hello. Hello. We're gonna cook new recommend things. Can you hold up? We recommend that. Can you hold? We recommend that. Thank you. We recommend that. Can you we recommend you that. We recommend you that. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's go give on her. Uh, I don't know if I need to. I guess talk to her to turn in the items. And then we'll go talk to Futaba. Make sure we're doing all the quests we can while we're here. Bow, now, now, now. On, I have the sweets for you. Uh, oop, uh, sorry, I didn't read that. I wonder if that means he never actually had anyone in his corner. Wait, please hold on. That is not the case. I found a number of posts online where people are supportive of Natsume. Oh, in that case, I think he'll make it just fine in the end. Okay, maybe I need to turn it in at the van. Let's go talk to Futaba. See what she wants. Hopefully something that's not too hard to get. Futaba! Where... there she is. She's staring. You want to take a picture together in that? I definitely will. Yo! There you are, Akira. I want to get a picture in this cutout board before we head out. Yes. 
This is not, oh, this is a great photo op, so it'd be a real waste not to. I've gone ahead and called Inari over too, so you should join in. Sure. Thank you. Hey, thanks. Then let's start making some more memories. <laughs> okay, without further ado, it's time to play Who Looks More Like Date Masumune. In the blue quarter, we have Inari. That's fine. Hmm, I don't quite follow, but I'll do my best. <laughs> How's this? Ooh. Whoa, this is crazy. You really do look like him. Wehehe, <laughs> looking good, Yusuke. Hmm. It's like he's wearing armor. How interesting. Uh, very artistic. Make a funny face. What's up, Masamune? Uh, make a fu No, very artistic. Very. Really? Is it? I can't tell from where I'm standing. Hmm. Hmm, there's still something missing. Oh, that's right! Oh, I know! Akira, you get the other one. Yeah, I'll be the lady. Ha! That's it! <laughs> Aha, here comes the princess. Cute couple. Something is amiss. Akira, is it just me, or are we being exploited for her entertainment? Uh, don't worry about it. It's all part of the road trip. We're an item now. Well, if you say so. Right, right. Yeah, it looks great, but maybe you could get a little more into the role. Like this? Aww. Nope, not even close. Look, Inari, you're Lord Date Masamune. As ruler of the Tohoku region, everyone's throwing mad respect your way. You gotta own it. In that case. I see. Then perhaps like this. You think you can win the respect of your people like that? Uh, then how about this? Oh my god. Uh, Sorry, you actually kind of freaked me out. Everyone had fun at the photo stand-in. Bond! Nice. Alright, let me turn in my request. I don't think the other two are... Let me save, actually. I think the other two are jail related, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. Hopefully I can go into the RV to check my request without leaving. Here's what I found. Uh you're already working on this one. Complete. What? Wow, you actually bought them? They all look so good. Let's split them up and eat them as a group later. Sorry to put out such a selfish request. Sweets just kinda brighten the mood, don't you think? It's times like these that I want to put a smile on everyone's faces in whatever way I can. Thanks. <laughs> At the very least, I know I'll be happy. Thanks a bunch, Akira. Mission accomplished. You're welcome. You're uh, prison mail. You're yep. Okay, we're good. So. Did you see her smile? <laughs> hey, Akira, I want to see Lady Aunt smile brighter than ever before. Uh, I can help with that. Sounds like a drag. Let's make a deal. That's true. Sure, anything to see Lady Anne smile. Here's a thought. Do you think we can find something even more amazing than the stuff we just got for her? Leave it to me. Even more amazing. So super amazing then. I've got it. Let me do a search. Ooh, thanks, Sophia. Sweets found. I've got hits of an extremely limited quantity of a parfait that some have even called legendary. Legendary? It's called the Zunda Supreme Parfait. Nice. Perfect, Sophia. Where do we find it? Unfortunately, there aren't any details as to its exact location. There are only reports that it's been seen in Mount Aoba Park. It's an extremely limited quantity item. I'll bet you can probably count the number of people who have bought it on one hand. If we can't get any more info online, then we'll just have to ask around at the park. Okay. Okay, I've registered this as a request from Morgana. Once you've accepted it, let's head to the park and see if we can learn anything. Thanks. Thanks, Sophia. Oh, God. Oh, God, I wanted to leave. Alright, you know what? I think I'll save that for next time and stop it here. We're getting to about 40 minutes. I don't want to drag the episode on. So next time, we'll help Morgana fall in love with Lady On even more. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous about that, you know, I already forgot her name. The researcher lady, Ichinose, I think. Um, I'm nervous about her. I don't trust her as far as I can throw her, which isn't very far. 
Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe they want me to be suspicious for no reason. But um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm excited to move on to the next city after we help Morgana out um, and sort of see what the next jail will be like. So thank you guys for watching. As always, feel free to leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe, whatever you guys are feeling. And until the next time, lights off, dark out.